Intro to Klingon, Part 3, Parenting. Based on the works of the American linguist, Mark Okrand, all awesomeness here is because of him. Any errors are strictly my own. Parenting in Klingon, and useful vocabulary for everyone else. Since raising children is the topic, please first review Intro to Klingon Part 2, Swearing. I've come to discover that the ability to swear in Klingon is very helpful when in the presence of a child. The world is filled with many different kinds of people. There are normal parents, and then there are geek parents. Chances are good if you're watching this video, you fall into this category. Benefits of parenting in Klingon. Obviously, it's very, very, very fun. Secondly, it sets up neural pathways for memorization and learning other languages in the future. It's an excellent opportunity to bond with the child. You're able to speak in code at times, uh, which is very, very cool. Only 8,000 people uh, speak Klingon on this planet. And again, to stress, super, super fun. Things of note. Before you begin, ask the pukh, which is Klingon for child. If they don't want to do it, um, then you don't do it. Uh, please remember, you do it little by little. The vocabulary eventually builds. Um, you learn a, just you know, simple one-word commands at a time, but eventually it won't be too long before you're saying things like, Chargui, Higos, Da, Pu. And another thing is, is this provides an excellent learning opportunity to, dis to discuss honor versus pride. Um, I explained to my child that not all Klingons are good, um, just like real people in the world. Um, many Klingons will talk about honor when what they're really discussing is pride or ego or clinging to ancient traditions that no longer serve a purpose in today's world. We'll be dealing with three different categories, functional words, praise or nod, and corrective words, oina, which means pain stick. Functional words, designations, mother, shos, father, bav. And obviously, if you don't think that you fit into either of these two traditional categories, uh, just find a designation that you would feel comfortable with. Child or offspring, pooh. Uh, it's also fun picking a Klingon name for the child. Uh, for my child, it was fairly straightforward because his name is Victor, um, which in Klingon is simply Chargwe. And if ever annoyed, you can just refer to the youngling as a Tribble or Yich. Yes, Hija. No, Ko. Friend, Jup. Enemy, Char. Come here. He goes. Go away. Not devil. He goes. Now. Da. Do it. Rooch. Hurry up. Tour. Sit. Ba. Listen. Itch. Pay attention. Yekim. You are right. Belur, you are wrong. Belur, be. Eat, shop. Sleep, kong. Understood? Yach, ah. I understand. Jiyach. I don't understand. Jiyach, be. 
And here's a, a very important one when you're doing homework. Focus on but one target. Now for words of praise or nod. Good. Maj. Very good. Well done. Maj ka. And remember, this character is a hard, hard sound. J. It's never like the French j. Okay. Le. Which it's uh, fun to say. Le, le, le. No problem. Kai be. That's great news. Oi, mop. Which literally means our plates are full. Be happy. Uh, it's become a tradition in our household before a meal to say, Boy, mop. Coach. And perhaps the most important thing you can say to your child, love you. Mush ha so. Now for the corrective words, or oi na words, pain stick words. Oi na da lop be chu nos nenghep lop pu. If you don't use the pain stick, the child will never celebrate his age of ascension. I've come to discover that many, many parents like to view themselves as a friend of their child. Your child has enough friends. Your child doesn't need another friend. Your child needs a parent. And a good parent knows when it's time to say no. Be very clean. Psycho. Nonsense. Balderdash. That's silly. Chato. That is unfortunate. Do. Ha. Be still, or literally, be frozen. Tuck. Walk. Don't run. Hit. Get. Go. Don't speak. Hit. Chato. Go. Become quiet. Hit. Tum. Cho. And my personal favorite, made famous by Worf, I am not a merry man. Lord Cooch Chikbe. Or if you're female, you can say Be Cooch Chikbe. Two things of note regarding previous videos. I fell into the bad habit of sounding out this character as if it was just a hard G. Uh, but you need to remember, it's a hard G plus the Klingon H. It almost sounds like gargling. And in fact, the Klingon word for gargle is gar. And the glottal stop, the apostrophe that follows vowels at times. It should be an abrupt stop. For example, with this expletive, it's not pronounced gooey, it's gooey. For additional resources on the Klingon language, please refer to the works of Mark Ogrent. You can download the free Android app called Boque. And there's a great, great website called Hor Ampas at hol.kag.org. Our next topic in the series will be gaming. I thank you for your time. Kapla.